Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese, and this is my review of the Bandai SH Figure Arts Jedi Luke Skywalker action figure. Now this figure is the very first Bandai Figure Arts figure that I've ever gotten. And the reason I haven't gotten them is just because they're really expensive. Six inch figure, and I got it for $70 on Amazon, and that's not even regular price. They come out a little more expensive than that like maybe eighty to ninety dollars but it was on sale for seventy and I signed up for the Amazon credit card and when you do that they give you a seventy dollar gift card and that's what I used to get them so that was pretty cool basically you just got this figure for free it's a really good way to try out a figure that expensive figure that I wasn't sure that I wanted to get because of the price but I picked this one because I really, really wanted a 6-inch Black Series Jedi Luke figure, and they made one, but I don't think he turned out very well. I don't... I, I was, he really disappointed me. I made a Top 5 Worst Black Series Figures video, and I'll put the link in the description, but he was my number one. I just... I was very disappointed by this figure. So that's why I picked this one. I really wanted a nice Jedi Luke Skywalker 6-inch figure. And I think this one's going to pull it off. So, there's the package. You can see the, all the different options. They got a couple different heads. And it also comes with this Darth Vader head. But you have to have the Bandai Darth Vader figure to put that head onto, which I don't have. So, basically just get this head and I don't really have anything to do with it. <laughs> but, there you can see, it comes with a lot of accessories. This is really awesome. You can see Bandai, Tamashi Nations or something, I don't know. But, yeah, a lot of this stuff is in Japanese, I don't know what it says. So, let's open this guy up. Now you gotta be careful when you open this up, because when you take this plastic off, it kind of pops off. It, like it snaps together, so when you take it apart, it pops. And apparently this little lightsaber handle fell into the floor. And I didn't notice it, I didn't notice it happening. So I was looking through there and I'm like, where's this lightsaber handle? And uh, I thought, was it not even in the package? Did they forget to include it? But I looked around, the flashlight finally found it. It was on the floor. So be careful with that. And uh, you can see he comes with this plastic. Now I had him out of the package already before. So I don't know if I put the plastic back on the way they had it. But yeah, they got plastic covering him. So that's basically what it looks like. You got the figure. Then you got four extra hands. The lightsaber blade, lightsaber handle, the Darth Vader head, and the alternate Luke head. So there he is opened up. I've played around with this figure a lot since opening it. And holy shit, it definitely blows away the Black Series figure. I mean, the Black Series figure is a $20 figure. This is a normally around $80, $85-ish dollar figure. So it should blow that figure away. And it definitely does. This figure I really like. I think it really represents Luke Skywalker in his Jedi outfit. It's just, it's just badass. I love it. And I'm really happy that it is in scale with the Black Series figures. So that's really cool. And the main gripe, which I'll, I probably mentioned a couple times, but the biggest gripe is his hair. There's something odd about his hair. It's almost like gold metallic. Like it seriously looks like he has sort of like metallic hair. I think the reason they did that was to make it shiny, look a little more alive. I don't know, like a... I don't know. It just looks sort of metallic. It bugs me a little bit. It's not too bad. It's just bad when you have a bright light shining on it. Like I have a bright light on it right now and it really shows the, the gold. When it's just normal lighting, it doesn't really look too bad. But like on this head here, you can... You can really see the gold. It just... I don't know. <laughs> it looks like they, his hair should be worth a lot of money. But this figure is just awesome. There's lots of articulation. And that face is ridiculous. I mean, it looks so much like Mark Hamill. The detail is almost like a Hot Toys figure just shrunken down. It's just so well done. The only thing it's missing is that glint in his eye. And that's what Hot Toys always has. You know, that realistic, creepy-ish looking eyes that look... Like they're staring into your soul. This one's not quite there. It's just 
I think because he's so small. But for this scale, I, I don't think you can get much better than that on the face. I mean, that just is amazing. The paint, the sculpt just looks badass. Normally, I would do the comparisons towards the end of the video, but I think I'm going to do them right now because this is kind of the normal look that the uh, Black Series Luke is in. The only difference is he comes with this alternate chest piece, which has this piece of fabric flipped over. This one doesn't have that option, but that doesn't really matter. This The figure still blows this one away. I mean, looking at those faces, I mean, there is just... There's no comparison. This one just completely sucks compared to this one. This one is amazing. This one is Eric from that 70s show. <laughs> I mean, one of, another main thing, one of the big things that bother me about this figure is he just, his shoulders, something just didn't look right. It's, he looks scrawny. I don't know. And it's not that this one's muscular. Like, Luke Skywalker's not supposed to be a big muscular dude or anything. But this one just looks more believable. It looks more like a natural human body. This one just looks weird. Bothers me a lot. And they have very similar articulation. This one does have the jumble joint and knees. This one has very articulated legs. It's not exactly double jointed, it just has a really wide ranged single joint. You know, it basically can do what a double joint can, it just has one joint. I also like the color of his clothes here because this one's too glossy. It looks makes his clothes look like he's wearing leather. But this looks more like how it is in a movie. It's black and it's more of a flat black. It doesn't like reflect light or anything like this one does. So I think that looks more accurate. Still that face. <laughs> I know I already showed a face, but it's just it's just ridiculous how awesome this one is compared to this one. They're just ugh. This figure is shit compared to it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now one thing I, I noticed here is this Luke Skywalker has this big silver like buckle on his belt and this one doesn't. So which one's right? What the hell? I guess I'll have to look up pictures and see. But yeah, all around this figure is just so much better looking. I mean look at the even like the crotch area. This one just looks so action figure-y. This one looks a little more natural. And, but it still has pretty close to the same articulation once you start moving around. Now this one does have this up here to shoulders extra articulation which might make some joint joint lines show that maybe you wouldn't want to see but I don't know I think overall the figure looks better in this form with this articulation than this one does. And uh, I think the uh, like even like the hands I think are more accurate scale to the size of the figure. I mean this one's hands are a little bit big I think this is more accurate, more proportionate. I think the wrinkles on his clothes are more natural on this one. And the only part of him that's like really shiny is his boots. Well, also his belt. And I think that, that makes a lot more sense. Because here you don't really notice much of a difference between his boots and his clothes. They're all shiny and glossy. Here you can really see the difference. And I think that's really awesome. I think they did a better sculpt of the hair on this one. Because this one just looks like super shaggy. I think that's part of the reason it makes me think of Eric Foreman. And just how shaggy it looks. This one I think is sculpted a lot better. However, like I said. And I told you I'd keep saying it. This one just looks so gold. Metallic gold. That's just weird. And what is this? There's a piece of hair stuck at him. What the hell? Why is our hair stuck? <laughs> Whatever. But look at the eyes on this one. He looks so sad. He's got these big sad eyes. <laughs> but these definitely look... That looks like Mark Hamill. It's ridiculous. And there you can see the height of the figures are pretty damn close. So if you bought this figure and were worried that it wouldn't be in scale with the other Black Series figures, well it is. They're very close. This one's slightly taller. But not by much at all. I mean, you almost, you almost have to really squint to see that this one's a little bit taller. Another comparison I want to do is the lightsabers. Now, one of the cool features of the Black Series figures is you can pop the blade out so that it's just the handle. Like he has it turned off. And then you got that hole in there like that. And uh, you can hook it under the belt. Which is pretty cool to do that. This one takes it a step further with this Bandai one. So you can actually you can also remove the blade, but it actually removes this whole part here, and then it gives you this separate little piece 
that you can stick in there. And then it looks like a lightsaber turned off without that big ugly hole in there. So I think that's pretty cool. And you can just still attach it to his belt, but it has this little indent in here, this little hole, which isn't really that noticeable unless you're looking for it. That attaches right there. So I kind of like that better than that big hook thing. The hook thing just. The hook thing isn't bad for the Black Series, but. I don't know, it's just a little goofy. So there's a comparison of the uh, lightsaber handles hanging off of their pants. Now just looking at the handles, this is the Black Series, this is the Bandai Figure Arts, and I really think the Figure Arts looks better. Like it just, it looks more accurate. It's painted so much better. It's just awesome. Awesome! <laughs> yeah, they did, he just, so much more attention to detail. And like I said, that's, you're paying for a $70 figure, $80, whatever. Compared to a $20 figure, it should be better. So, you get what you pay for, I guess. Now, here's a comparison of the lightsabers with blades. Once again, this is Black Series. This is Figure Arts. And I do like the Figure Arts here better, too. It's just, you can see the green color more in the Figure Arts. I think it looks better. And, uh, you can see the handle is slightly longer on the Black Series. But the blade is a little longer on the figure arts. Well, I guess that's it for the comparison of these figures. This one just blows the Black Series figure away. So, let's move on to some other things this figure. I guess we'll do the, dif the different uh, accessories, different head options, hand options. You can see all that. So, he comes with this alternate head, which also has the gold looking hair. Where he's kind of got his hair blowing, and this is from the scene in the beginning where he's... On the uh, Jabba cell barge, trying to escape, and it's very easy to pop their, their heads off and put another one in. Very nice. Now you can see it with that head. That looks pretty good. I like the blowing hair. Really nice sculpt on the blowing hair too. Really nice. Now the book comes with these directions, and I didn't even know this could figure could do this at first. I played with it for a while before I even realized this was a thing you could do. The hair can be separated, and his face can be taken apart from his hair into three different pieces, so you can mix and match parts to how you want it. So you can put the wavy hair on to this face, so that you can have different expression. So that's really cool. So I guess I'll do that now and show you. See that tiny little that seam right there? It's barely noticeable unless you're really looking, like a just pops off there. Like that. And then his hair comes off there. <laughs> then you got just the face. And then you do the same thing with this one. Pop that off there. Take the hair off. Then put the other hair on. Like that. Just, oh, that's not the right one. And then stick that on there. And there you got that hair on that expression. So that's cool. Then you can take the other face, this more serious looking face. Stick the wavy hair on it. Well, that's kind of hard to do. Okay, there. <laughs> kind of confused there. Okay. And there you go. Now you got the wavy hair on a more serious face. So that's awesome. That kind of makes him look like Tobey Maguire from Spider-Man. I don't know. Something about that look. I don't know why. He's also got different hand options. There's three gloved hand... Whoa! Three gloved hand options. You got the one that can hold the lightsaber handle. Or you got like this, just more relaxed hand. Or you got the fist hand. And I think it's basically the same for the ungloved hand got the fist hand, or you got the relaxed hand, or the lightsaber holding hand. And as I mentioned, he comes with Darth Vader unmasked, and uh, I will compare it to the Black Series. I might as well do it now, get it over with. So here's the Black Series unmasked Darth Vader, and here's the figure arts. So once again, I think the sculpt, paint, it's way, way better on the figure arch figure. 
It looks so much better. That's pretty cool. Kind of wish I had the uh, the figure art Darth Vader so I can actually use this head, but I don't have it. I'm probably not going to get it. So here I stuck the lightsaber in both of his hands, which looks really good. Really believable. Sometimes, you know, figures when you put a weapon into both of their hands, it doesn't look right, but it definitely looks right for this one. I think it's really, really well done. Oops, didn't snap his head in all the way. If you don't get this hair all the way on, it just kind of sticks out more. So I think that's just awesome. It's just, I mean, when you think about it, if you buy pay twenty dollars for a Black Series figure, the price of this one would be about maybe three or four Black Series figures. But how awesome this one is, how satisfying it is, it might be worth four Black Series figures. I mean, it's just awesome. It's really going to make me consider getting some of the other Bandai figures. I mean, I don't know if I will. They're so expensive, but ah, it's just so well done. Well, it's time to go over articulation. Now we'll start off with the head. So you can look around. It's really cool as his head turns and also his neck. So you got two points of articulation on his head there, which is really cool. So you can really move around and get a different, some different looks. You can look up, you can look down, to the side, all the way around. Yeah, really awesome. Then the shoulders. Like he's got lots of articulation in his shoulders, especially like this. Lots of the um, Marvel Legends Spider-Man figures got this extra shoulder articulation. So can really make him reach in. Can make his arms reach in a lot better. So yeah, there's lots of articulation up in them shoulders. It's really, really well done with the way they did that. Then at the elbows, it's a single joint, but just like his knees, it bends so well, it's almost a double joint. I mean, just usually double joints can get you that much articulation, but just a single joint and it's just... I mean, when you have it straight, it looks like you see a little ball there. I mean, that might bother some people, but it doesn't bother me. Then at the wrist, lots of articulation there as well. Very nice. Then at the torso, you can do that. Spin there a little bit. Then down here, there's also at the waist, there's a little bit of articulation. You can also move there too, like that. Then at the legs, it seems like it should be a lot more limited than the Black Series, but really it's pretty damn close. Despite not being able to see the joints very well. There's lots of articulation there. It's really well done. Then the knees, like I said, it's a single joint, but it's damn close to a double joint. And then down at the ankles, it has very similar articulation to the Black Series. That's a tilt. And I just now noticed that it has toe articulation. I did not notice that before. <laughs> So there's, that's a little extra that the Black Series doesn't have. And that is really cool. So that is really awesome articulation for this figure. It's either as good as Black Series, but I would say it's actually a little better. So there's... This is the Bandai building kit, or whatever you call it, model kit, Darth Vader, and next to the Bandai figure arch Luke Skywalker. They go together very well. And there they are standing up straight. Like I said, I don't have the Bandai figure arch Darth Vader, but this is probably pretty damn close. And I think they'd look awesome together. And I might as well throw in Emperor Palpatine, one of my least favorite Black Series figures. But he should be compared here just because they're all in the same scene together. So here's this Luke next to my favorite Black Series Luke, the X-Wing one. This is from Series 1 of the Black Series. And even though I thought this figure had a really awesome face, I still think this one is better. I mean, I really think this one looks like Mark Hamill, but I think this one's even closer. 
And I think overall the proportions just look better on the figure arts figure than this Black Series one. So while this is still one of my favorite Star Wars Black Series figures, this one's just better. And here's a really unfair price-wise and quality-wise comparison. This is the Family Dollar, Dollar General, whatever, Lou Skywalker. He's about six dollars, something like that, six or seven dollars. And uh, not much comparison there. I still think the shape of his shoulders and everything looks better than the Black Series Luke. But this figure has home hardly any articulation. His head could turn, he can move it to shoulders, and that's it. <laughs> He's basically a statue that has a little bit of articulation and a horrible face sculpt. But there, just figured I'd show them together. So as you can probably tell, I absolutely love this figure. It is definitely my favorite six inch Luke Skywalker figure. And uh, it's a little hard to say I think he is worth it, seeing how as I basically got him free by signing up for the Amazon credit card. Which I want to, I guess I should mention that uh, Shane Pittman, he's on the Star Wars action figure memorability page, one of the uh, moderators on there. He told me about that, and uh, that's how I got this figure. So if you haven't done that, then maybe you can get the figure the same way. I did notice that he went up in price a little bit. He was 70 when I got him. I checked today and he was about 85 again. But still, this figure is definitely worth it. It's so much better than the Black Series. The Black Series just sucks. It sucks compared to this one. This one is just amazing. Really good articulation, really good sculpt and paint. Lots of accessories. You got the options of a different head. You can even switch the hair. And uh, better. Uh, I got the Black Series lightsaber laying there. Go away. But you can switch this piece out, make it when you don't have the lightsaber turned on. Alternate hands. And if you have the Bandai figure arch Darth Vader, you come with this alternate head, which is really cool. So this figure just blows Black Series away. And even if you weren't counting the Black Series, this figure is just really nice. Really good articulation, sculpt, paint, awesome. My only gripe is his hair. It's sort of golden looking and it bothers me. But other than that, this figure is amazing. And if I had to pay the $70 out of pocket, I don't know if I'd regret it. Because it's just really well done. I think it's just as good as maybe three or four Black Series figures. It's just so well done. I am completely happy with it. And I definitely recommend it. Well, this is Mr. Eotis. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Luke, you don't understand the power of the dark side. Did Obi-Wan Kenobi tell you about your mother? Well, well, no. He didn't really mention her. Well, let's just say that your mother was dating the Norse God of Thunder, Thor. Now that sounds pretty impressive, doesn't it? Well, yeah, that does sound pretty impressive, Father. Well, she left him, had an affair with me, and that's how you and your sister were born. Yeah, I knocked up Thor's girlfriend. What do you think of that? Actually, that's pretty impressive. So maybe you should consider to joining the dark side. Because Norse gods, we can steal their women. That's how awesome the Sith are. We're just badass. Women can't resist us. I kind of had a thing for Leia, but I think Han's moving in there. I think she likes Han. What are you talking about? My, my sister. I, I think she's really hot. She gave me a kiss. And uh, I want to see if maybe we can get it on, but Han's kind of getting in the way. I think she likes Han better. Uh, I'm talking about stealing Norse god women, not banging your sister. That's That's not good. Inbreeding causes deformations, you know, birth defects. You don't, you don't want to do that. No, we, I don't want a kid. I just, I just want to bang her. You know, that's all. Just bang her a little every, every now and then. You know, maybe, maybe get married. We don't gotta have a kid. Oh, so. Yeah, yeah, I like it, Vader. Just let this, these thoughts of inbreeding. Continue. I like it. <laughs> Somehow, it fits into the dark side. Because it's twisted. It's sick. And maybe maybe you can get it on camera and send me a tape 
I want to see you bang your sister. Oh, it just, just the thought of it. Just the thought of it makes me want to shoot electricity out of my, out of, out of my fingertips. Yeah, that's what I was, I was going to say, my fingertips. <laughs> I don't know what were you thinking I was going to say something else, because I, I was going to say, shoot my, shoot electricity out of my fingertips at the thought of you banging your sister. Oh, that, that's going to happen. Stop fighting. Go bang your sister. Oh, I can't wait to get to the video. Why do you hang out with that guy? He's really creepy. I don't know how that guy got you to turn to the dark side. I mean, I'd be like, you're creepy. I'm going home. Oh, damn it, man. You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe, Nate. Oh, damn it.